your new Shark aircraft has been delivered to you with a complete set of equipment for jacking up the aircraft for undercarriage maintenance. All you need to provide is a 13mm socket wrench and a spanner. Included in your kit are two partially assembled tripod stands, an automotive screw jack, and a tail stand. Start with the tripod stand. Assemble the legs using the nuts and bolts that were provided in the kit. As a starting point, set the torque wrench to 10 Newton meters, tighten up the nuts, but make sure that there's enough room here for the leg to move just a little bit like that. The self-locking nuts will hold it in place. Again, just to emphasize, the leg should be free to move a few millimeters like that. If a whole tripod stand has been disassembled like this, then to reassemble it, all you need to do is make sure that this vertical pin rests over the jaw here like that. This leveling bolt and nut assembly is assembled by pushing the bolt up through the hole, placing the washer over it, and then screwing it down just about halfway to start off with. We'll talk more about that later on when we come to leveling the aircraft. If this is the first time you've assembled the stand and the jack, then have a little practice before you try and mate it with the aircraft. Take the jack, open it by 10 turns. Then take the stand and mate this slot here with that part of the stand there, like that. Now, this pin goes into the sort of triangular shaped part of the jack like that, and the jack is now ready to raise the aircraft. The two stands are mirror images of each other. When the jack is correctly fitted at the front of the stand, one leg will be pointing in towards the middle of the aircraft. So this is the right stand here, jack at the front, leg pointing into the middle. And this ensures that the stand does not interfere with the undercarriage when you are lowering and raising the undercarriage. Roughly position the stand underneath the undercarriage area so that this bolt is lined up with the screw on the underside of the wing. There's the screw there. This is the correct jack in the correct position. With the jack positioned like this, the wheel and the undercarriage mechanism will be able to move up in an arc in this direction and then back down in this direction. I'm going to show you now what it will look like with the jack in the incorrect position. So this is the wrong jack in the wrong position. Now you can see that this leg here will interfere with the movement of the undercarriage. When the undercarriage moves, there's a potential of you touching the rearward facing leg on the jack. When the aircraft is lifted, it's going to be lifted by this bolt with this washer pressing up against this nut. So, pre-position the nut 20 millimeters from the top of the bolt, about there. Then slide the stand underneath the wing and line it up with the mating screw that's provided in the aircraft. Now, screw the bolt in for about 10 millimeters until about 10 millimeters remains showing. Repeat the procedure for the other side.
Well done, that wasn't so hard, was it? Now let's get on to assembling the tail stand. The rear stand acts to balance the aircraft and doesn't do much lifting weight. To assemble it, take the two legs and line up the holes like this. Then take the vertical stay, put it in between the two of them with the holes lined up, and then start juggling the bolts through the holes like this. Once you've got one bolt through, take the locking nut and just loosely attach it like that till it reaches the end of its movement. Next, take the next bolt and juggle it through the holes. Easier said than done. And once that's through, take the locking nut and loosely assemble that. Now, with all the components in the right place, take your spanner and your torque wrench and tighten them to 10 newton meters. To assemble the tail holder, place the washer on top, run the bolt up from underneath, and now run this nut down by about 20 millimetres, same as before. That's about 20 millimetres. Now, introduce the holding device and run that up about 10 millimetres into the arrangement like that. At this time, leave the system as it is and do not attach the height adjusting bolt. Save that for later on, after we have jacked up the front of the aircraft, and we'll then, we will then come to the back and use this system to raise and lower the front wheel. Take the jack in its mostly closed configuration and slide it from one side onto this lip. Once it's in position, line up the vertical spigot, that's called a spigot, with the hole on the top of the jack. And then just turn the handle a couple of times and you'll find that it moves, the jack moves towards the spigot. You can just press down very slightly and the spigot will move down into the leg and then you can start turning. The washer will rise up against the nut and you can start to lift the aircraft. Continue to raise the jack and the aircraft until the first set of holes align here. Now, take the securing pin and put it through the holes and you can lower the system back down so that the securing pin is holding the aircraft up and the jack becomes free. Now, repeat the process on the other side. Because the two lifting pins are in front of the centre of gravity. As you lift the aircraft here, the front of the aircraft will go up and the back of the aircraft is going to go down. Continue to raise the aircraft until two holes are aligned and then use the pin to secure the hole mechanism. 
you can raise and lower the tail of the aircraft to level it. Course leveling is achieved using the nut and the bolt lined up in the holes, here like this. Tighten up the screw. Fine adjustment is achieved by raising and lowering this system here. Congratulations, you've now jacked up the aircraft safely, ready to work underneath.